One change, Marco Chapin, the captain, back from suspension. Noah Skoko is the one who drops to the bench. Jerevicic has five goals so far on this incredible run. Rokas Tukstash, outstanding in the semi-final. And Brajkovic has probably been the player of this run. Skoko is available from the bench. Nazor can certainly come on and make a difference. Well, last year in this UEFA Youth League, we saw a performance for the ages as Benfica dismantled Red Bull Salzburg. One of the great youth club performances that I've ever seen in all the years of covering youth football. Well, if that was the story last year, the story this year is of the underdog, of two unlikely finalists, of two sides who've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big names, taken them on and beaten them. No hard luck stories. They've both made it to face each other. They've had their moments, both have needed penalties. Hajduk against Dortmund, RZ against Sporting, but we're a brilliant youth league campaign as Hajduk launched the first attack. Jaden Adai, and Adai's going to let fly. And it's a good save by Bullian. Really strong running there from Jaden Adai, and surprisingly, Hyde. Poku, one of them, chases this long ball. Plenty of movement in there, and that's pumped long by Brajkovic. Good ball through for Poku, who's very, very quick, who actually got there. Bullian does well here, because Poku is so quick. Hajduk starting to string some passes together, but wasn't much of an effort really from Simon Hurgovic. Long ball over the top there, and Bullian comes rather dramatic. Now Adai again. Well, that opening was there for him for the second time. Corner. Oh, dipped across, big chance, Adai! Really good save by Bullian, he didn't catch it cleanly. Jaden Adai, he gave... And his Poku. Little burst of acceleration and then the drive. Tipped over by Bullian. Really good strike there from Poku. Chance for him to turn and to run. K. Schmidt. Lofted through towards Poku. Lovely footwork there from Adai, oh, terrific save, it was dipping and darting. Adai so close, that's a wonderful save by Bullian. It looked in all the way. Flicked on by Poku and it's a big opportunity. Now was there a pull there? Referee says no. RZ thought there was, Willy Delajord was well placed. It's dull. And Schmidt. Well, didn't shoot the first time, and then we saw why. Much needed to change, that the chance might come, and it might come now, penalty! Poku fouled crazily by the youngster Vuskovic. The 16-year-old dived into a challenge he was never going to win. And he's given RZ the golden chance. And it's Jaden Adai to score, just. RZ in front, he picked his spot. And he just beats Bullian. And it's advantage, the Netherlands in the final. And there's the output half. Hajduk. Hanging on until the final moments, and then Adai from the... Adai, now Poku. Up towards mid, and great header from him. Four players flooding forward in support. Schmidt again, floating it through for mid. Get in behind. Pulled back by Fitch, it's big chance, oh! There was the moment for Hajduk Tukstash. It almost felt like he was Space for him now as well, it's Poku still going! Not too far away.
And for a player who's clever touch on for Antunovic. He's got options, he didn't think he needed them. And he draws the save from Awusu Adoro. As close as Hajduk have come. Through it. Great running from him, and he just didn't get... Buka's trying to get in behind. This is Poku. Markovic, the substitute, staying close to him. Poku. Ahead of him, Poku's going to go on his own here. To surely seal it for RZ. Poku has been their most threatening player. He's been outstanding on the run to the final. He wins the penalty, and then he scores the second. And RZ now can reach out and touch it. Need to stay switched on here. Goes Poku again. And there is Meerdink for Poku! And RZ have won the Youth League. There is no question now. And it will always be remembered as Ernest Poku's final. He's made one and he's scored two and he's taken it away from Hajduk. And there's nothing really that they can do now. RZ have been too good. Too good tackle. Here's Meerdink. He's going to go on his own to make it 4-0. Another hammer blow from RZ to break Croatian hearts. Mex Meerdink on to seal it. And now they just hope for the whistle. Hajduk over committing and Meerdink decided to go on his own and it was the right decision. Oh, flicked through with his first touch, it's Gerald and it's saved. Oh, whipped in again. For Meerdink again. RZ make it five. And they pile on the pain here in Geneva. Great ball through, fantastic couple of touches from Meerdink. And it's so cruel that this remarkable Hajduk journey should end in this way. For the second... Whipped in towards Meerdink, he wasn't far. And like a hand by Pukstash. And there is the final whistle. And RZ can celebrate. This remarkable run in the knockout stage.